there. I wanted to show you a new synth that I just got recently. It's called Dune, D-U-N-E. Dune stands for Differential Unison Engine. And this synth is made by a company called Synapse Audio. Um, I haven't used any of Synapse Audio's uh, software before, and so I didn't know what to expect when I kind of tried out the demo of this, uh, this synth. But I was pleasantly surprised that when I started getting into what it could do, I'm fairly impressed. I to the point where I actually bought it like two days after I tried it out. This is a subtractive synthesizer. It uses a lot of filters and um, and what really makes this unique is the way that it handles its unison engine. Um, much like other synths like Silent One, you can uh, you know do multiple voices on your oscillators. But what's cool about Dune is you can modulate each of these voices individually, uh, independent of each other. So if I wanted to modulate number two, number four, number six, and number eight, I could do that. You know, if I wanted to, you know, gate voices one, two, and three, uh, while four, five, and six have a tremolo effect, you can do that. It's very, it's very cool how it works. This thing is a lot of possibilities, a lot of uh, potential. So let's kind of get into it. Uh, Dune has three oscillators and a noise generator that makes up most of the, or all the sound that you'll hear from it. Um, there are two main oscillators, oscillator one and two here, and uh, they have, uh, they're separated by an oscillator mix here. And so you can choose to have, you know, 100% of your noise or your sound coming from oscillator one or 100% from oscillator two, or you can mix the two. Each oscillator has a choice of, I believe, one, two, three, 72 waveforms. You got your sawtooth, pulse, and sign here, but you can also select the SEL button and choose from any of these 69 waveforms over here. And there's a lot of really neat ones and a lot of really cool things you can do. Again, you can um, adjust the, the semitone and the fine, uh, the sense of the individual oscillators for one and two. And it has a, an option called FAT, which what this does is, if I understand it correctly, for each voice that you have, for oscillators one and two, if you turn your fat on, it adds seven additional voices per unison voice that you add and detunes them. So let me kind of show you how it sounds. If I have a sawtooth, put it over here. That's just a sawtooth wave with one unison voice. If I add fat, it kind of makes it bigger. If I, if I add more unison voices, Makes even, makes even more. So say if I have eight unison voices, you know, put fat on both of them, uh, that's eight times seven times plus eight times, it's over a hundred voices just with one note. So this thing can get really full and really cool. Oh, there's also an option to sync the two oscillators. So every time oscillator one resets, uh, oscillator two, the waveform will reset also. So that's a neat feature to have. Now oscillator three is um, it's a sub like a sub oscillator, which I think it plays at an octave lower than oscillator one and two, and you can choose to give it a sawtooth, a pulse wave, or a triangle wave, and so it it acts independent of uh, whether you have oscillator one selected or oscillator two. So let's see, you got I got one selected right now. Now if I, if I turn up the volume, my oscillator three. And it's it's just cool to give it a little bit more a uh, little bit more uh, fullness, kind of fatness, you know, round out the bottom end. It's a nice feature to have. Another thing that this has is a noise generator. Oh, let me, you can add uh, a noise factor, and you can modulate this. You know, you make percussive instruments or uh, do some cool things with soundscapes and pads. And you can also adjust the color of the the, the noise. Like a pink to a white, I guess. I'm not very familiar with not very familiar with the different types of noise, but that's uh, that's the the four areas: oscillator one, two, three, and noise that you get your sound generation from for a dune. Let's see now, under here is after you make the noise, it goes through uh, your oscillator common, FM, and unison. It doesn't go through these, but these uh, directly affect your oscillators. And what the oscillator common section does, it has a pulse width modulation. So if you have a pulse wave selected for oscillator one or two, it can do uh, 
uh, it can do pulse width. And this doesn't work if you have any other waveform selected, it's just pulse waves. Um, there's also a ring mod. Uh, and there's a FM mode. Let me try to do this. And this is the kind of the big part of your Dune. What makes it so special is the unison section. And so you can add unison to uh, any synth that, any uh, oscillator that you have set up in oscillator one, two. So you have one. So now I have eight voices here. What's cool is when you're creating your patch, you can choose to listen to individual voices. So I'm gonna listen to two, four, six, and eight while I'm doing something on the mod matrix. You can do that. You can also detune and spread the stereo um, on the unison voices. Uh, after the oscillators make the sound, it goes through a filter up here and there are your standard filters, low pass, 12, 24. But there's some cool filters, which is their combination is a low pass 24, and then it goes through a 12. There's also like a band pass 12 goes through a low pass 12. A comb filter goes through a low pass 24. And how that works is you, uh, you adjust the cutoff for your, say if I have a band pass 12 to a low pass 12. My band, my cutoff affects my band pass and then my offset knob affects my low pass. I like the sound of the filters a lot. They're uh, they're very nice and there's a lot of, there's also a, looks like an amplitude section, an output, you can choose mono if you only want to have one uh, key pressed at a time. To, or, um, and there's also your arpeggiator. Uh, we can get into that a little bit later, but this basically enables that. There's a glide, so if you have mono on, your nose can glide from one to the other. Uh, it, it sets how fast they go, so if I... That's kind of how the glide works, and then the volume is the, the, the overall volume of the synth that goes out. Uh, there's three envelopes. There's a, a modulation envelope, a filter envelope, and an amp envelope. The amp is your standard ADSR, you know, your attack, uh, you know, you can... And um, there's a filter envelope based on how high you have this filter knob pressed, uh, turned up, it'll affect the, the, the cutoff of the filter. And there's also a mod envelope, which is kind of miscellaneous. You can use it for anything you want in the mod matrix, you know, just be the source of the... Uh, mod envelope will just be the source whatever you want to modulate there's also three LFOs which have a sawtooth pulse sign and random waveforms you can adjust uh, the speed of the LFOs the skew which is kind of like um it's not quite not modulating it's 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 skewing the waveform that you're choosing to kind of like if I understand it correctly it takes like a sine wave and it makes it a concave or a convex sine wave, or sawtooth wave, I'm sorry. And there's a really cool option called fade in, which allows you, it it makes the uh, LFO fade in after a certain period of time, up to 10 seconds. And so, which is really neat. I kind of like this because you can set up like a, a pad or another kind of timber. And, you know, after five seconds of playing it, you can also, you can have a whole new set of sounds come in using this LFO or, you know, module, some kind of modulation. So it's, which is really interesting because it's like something like Absinthe would do, but you have it in this very compact, really cool subtractive synth. Down at the bottom uh, of the synth, you have several effects. You have a distortion, which is all different types, so low pass crunch, high pass crunch. Um, you can adjust the color, drive, and amount. There's a couple EQs. There's a phaser and a chorus. There's delay and reverb. But now we can kind of get into... Uh, what makes this synth really cool, and is that the uh, the Unison engine? And so what I'm going to do is kind of set this up and show you some of the neat stuff you can do. So right now uh, I'll do I'll just do one oscillator with eight voices. Turn down a little bit, soften it up. Add a little. Very 
cut, you know, very raw. But I'm just kind of showing you how, how, what kind of stuff you can do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose LFO1, make it a pulse. I'm going to have it modulate the semitone of oscillator 1. And actually, we're going to modulate it seven semitones. And we're going to only modulate. This is where it's cool. You have the voice column. So you can set it to modulate odd or even voices. So I'm just going to choose odd. And you can kind of see as it comes in. That's the fade in. That's why it's kind of coming in slowly. We can start at the beginning. And so if you listen to the voices in solo, you can see that one, three, five, and seven are just the pulse wave adjusting the the um, oscillator one's pitch up, up and down seven semitones. And if you listen to two, four, six, and eight, it's just your normal saw, slow attack, slow release kind of pad kind of thing. And this is just scratching the surface of the type of stuff you can do with this synth. Um, with the arpeggiator, that you can do all kinds of patterns with it. You can choose your arpeggiate, uh, the arpeggiator to modulate uh, any other parameters. And so, like, if I want my arpeggiator to modulate the pitch, I can, I can choose to have both the key and the velocity to modulate two different parameters within a timber that I might have, which makes it kind of cool. There's a, let me try to see if I can find one. This is it, yeah. No therapist EDT. Turn this down a little bit. So you can see here the, the bottom end is the C, G, C, E. And you can hear the, almost like the dings in the pad is the, the velocity right here is actually modulating Velocity is modulating oscillator to pitch, and so I think this this is one of the most beautiful uh, timbers that I heard on this so far. Absolutely love stuff like this. If you like uh, synthesizing your own drums, there's with the just with the control over the individual individual voices, um, you can do some really cool stuff with the drums. But yeah, this is a it, it's a great synth, great sounding. Um, you can just imagine the kind of stuff you can do with it. Uh, I might make some more videos later of kind of more in-depth stuff, uh, uh, tutorials on how to create different kind of timbers, leads, and stuff like that. But I've just been having an absolute blast making like pads and beautiful soundscapes and um, just really nice, just beautiful sounds. That's kind of the music that I love. But as you can see here, there's all kinds of sources, velocity. You can modulate almost anything you can imagine. Um, including the waveforms too, which is neat. There's, um, you can actually choose each of your different voices to have a different waveform. It's kind of complicated. I might explain it on a different video, but that's another really exciting thing when I was, I was reading that in the manual and I thought that was really neat. You can also modulate uh, other modulations, but yeah, highly recommend it. You should give it a shot, synapseaudio.com. And I uh, hope this video is helpful to you and let me know what you think and I'll hopefully get some more stuff up here later. But yeah, that's all I got right now. Thanks for watching.